Hi, my name is Sabrina Van Skindel. I'm currently pursuing a Master's of Science degree in Epidemiology at the University of Guelph. I was involved in the National Dairy Study as a summer student in 2015, um, and I further investigated some of the reproductive results. So some of the things regarding reproduction that we looked at in the National Dairy Study uh, pertain to heat detection methods, the use of artificial insemination versus a breeding bull, pregnancy diagnosis, and pregnancy confirmation. We wanted to see if some of these uh, reproductive management practices were associated with demographic effects, such as herd size, uh, geographic location, barn style, and things associated with the producer, such as education level and age. So we had a number of interesting findings with regards to reproduction from the National Dairy Study. In terms of heat detection, the most commonly used method uh, was visual detection across all groups of cows. There were significant differences between the methods used for cows during first insemination, subsequent inseminations, and heat detection methods used in heifers. In terms of breeding method, artificial insemination was used in approximately 80% of herds across Canada. The majority of these inseminations were performed by um, an artificial insemination technician. An interesting result with regards to insemination was that artificial insemination was used less in people or producers who had a lower education level. In terms of pregnancy diagnosis and pregnancy confirmation, the majority of farms used uh, ultrasound as the method of diagnosis, whereas they used rectal palpation as the most common method for pregnancy confirmation. Only about 69% of farms are actually rechecking and confirming pregnancies across Canada. The reproductive results from the National Dairy Study are extremely important to producers, veterinarians and various stakeholders in the industry as we can now characterize and describe the reproductive management practices on farms across Canada. For more information on the reproductive results or other results from the National Dairy Study, you can go to www.nationaldairystudy.ca. Thank you for watching this video.